Okay, hi. Today we're going to have a look at this Kellenberger uh, model 1000 UR cylindrical grinder. Uh, this is very similar to a 1000U. The only difference is this has a heavier duty wheel head and does not have the uh, option to go up and down, although it does rotate. Uh, so you have your work head, you have your tailstock with a swing down uh, dressing for the wheel with a micrometer screw here to bring the diamond in and out. Uh, the machine has uh, this new cooling system with it. This is a paper band system that goes with the machine, will be wired in. Uh, as you can see now, we're going uh, traverse grinding. I'll stop this and you know your slide goes back. You can do plunge grinding, you can do uh, traverse grinding, or you can grind by hand. It's a universal machine. We can swivel our headstock, we can swivel the wheel head, we can swivel the table. Um, a quick uh, cycle, a plunge cycle, where the wheel comes in and our end feed feeds automatically down to zero. And it stops. We have a spark out timer which will automatically kick the machine out after a period of time. Like that, and your hand feel uh, retracts and, and backs up. Uh, a longitudinal grinding, we have the table now, and each table reversal will feed here. So you see the infeed at each table reversal. You can also set this only to feed on the tailstock side or only to feed on the workhead side. Okay. So this is variable. Your headstock speed is variable. Controlled from right here. You also have a jog when you're just doing a setup. I'm going to shut off the wheel. I loosen the stop here. This hand wheel and this hand wheel both have dual ratios. In other words, working with it manually, you can have a, a coarse ratio to move the table or the slide uh, rapidly or very fine for grinding. Now, this head, when we loosen the, the locking pins, it has a locking position at, at 90 degrees, 180 degrees. But we're going to bring this around. Be careful of your tailstock. Usually you would probably take the tailstock off the machine. And here you have uh, internal grinding. This is your Fachona uh, internal grinding spindle mounted underneath this housing. It's run by a belt driven by the wheel head motor. Uh, you'd have to bring the slide forward. This slide has quite a bit of travel. Uh, when you're internal grinding, this gets set on a special position so that at the end of the cycle, at the spark out, we only retract the amount we ground. We don't make the rapid approach backwards as a safety. Uh, you don't want to be inside of a bore and have this go back on you. So there you have this uh, shown in this ID grinding uh, setup. <clears throat> so this can be rotated back again. You also have uh, options available with this machine, uh, not currently being offered with it, but you could put a small wheel on here, a face grinding wheel to do face grinding work over here with this. Your spindle is underneath here and you can put a smaller wheel. Uh, there's guards available for this. And we'll put this back and you would normally uh, fold these things over and the pin would drop in. You, you just shake it until the, the pin locks at home. So there you have it. This machine is currently wired for 220 volts, three phase, a very nice condition. This is a Kellenberger 1000UR. Thank you.